Hey YouTube, it's your boy Kenny Reacts back with another video. If you on this video, pause the video, like, comment, subscribe, and then you can unpause the video and you can continue watching the video. So today I'm reacting to a video someone sent me. It's about uh seven rappers who got caught lacking. Them boys got caught lacking without that scrap, lacking without that tool, lacking without they gun. All right, let's get to it. These are rappers who got caught lacking. And let's start things off with Julio Fulio. Because way before Fulio's viral beef with Young and Ace, he had beef with another crew in Jacksonville, which led to him getting shot back in the ninth grade. In December 2014, a 14-year-old named Devron Crowden was shot and killed waiting for the school bus. He and Fulio went to school together and were known to be from rival gangs. The high school Fulio went to was also in the Ops neighborhood, so he was outnumbered. So after Devron got killed, rumors quickly spread that Fulio was somehow involved. Even though he told everyone he didn't do it, he was still young and dumb. So Fulio started dissing Devron to let his ops know he wasn't scared and won. I'm not gonna lie, Fulio's probably the most hated, the most hated rapper. After 6ix9ine, it's Fulio. Like everybody hates Fulio. Everybody in Jacksonville hates Fulio. He's probably the most hated rapper. And this man diss, this man dissed the whole world. This man diss everybody. This man don't give a fuck who you is. He gonna diss you. Just know he gonna diss you. A lot of people say he's a clout demon. He's a clout demon. But that man fully and all the smoke, which was a big mistake you. because one day after school, he almost got in a fight with three people before getting on the bus to go home. And they wanted his head bad. So once Fulio got off the bus, he ducked off in the cut to roll up and smoke. And 10 minutes later, someone ran up and started sending shots at him. Fulio got hit in the hip and crawled to a house where a lady was sitting on the porch to avoid getting hit again. Fulio screamed. I ain't gonna lie, that was crazy. That's what, that's what it is when you're in the streets, bro. Like this street shit, I know a lot of rappers making it seem cool to be in the streets. That shit not sweet, bro. The streets not sweet. You can get caught lacking anywhere. Like when you in the streets, you can't even go to the store. You can't go eat out. You can't go to make you can't go to KFC. You can't go to McDonald's. You can't go nowhere without like watching and everything, bro. You gotta be aware. If you're in the streets, you always gotta be aware of your surroundings. You can't get caught lacking, and you always gotta keep that tool on you. A lot of rappers be claiming they keep it on them, but them boys be lacking. To the lady, letting her know he had just gotten shot, but she wanted nothing to do with it. And instead of helping, she told him she ain't care and told him to get the out of her yard. So with Fulio lying in the yard, he had no other option but to play dead until the shooters left. And later on, he was brought to the hospital and questioned by police about the murder of Devron Crowden. And they pressed him hard. But since he was on the way to school, when Devron got killed, he was cleared of involvement. And after he recovered, he decided to drop out of school since he was too much of a target. But this wasn't the only time Fulio was called lacking because in November 2021 it was around 5 in the morning and Fulio had just arrived at his crib and as he was getting out of his truck he was met with a hell of gunfire so he had no choice but to grab his gun and start firing back and after the shooting Fulio noticed that he was grazed in the leg so he decided not to go to the hospital since it wasn't a serious injury and not too long after this Fulio went to Instagram to talk about the situation not no shooters I ended my whole clip on my dad to stop playing with me and I didn't get hit I ain't gonna lie, that man fully a clout chaser, bro. That man take it straight to the ground. Always on the net talking, bro. This man stay on the ground. I grazed in the lead. Stop playing. Fulio would also go on to taunt whoever shot at him, saying, y'all missed the whole 100 shots, literally. And after the fans saw what Fulio posted, they started to assume Fulio was up to no good since he ran to Instagram about the situation. So hours later, he went live, clearing the situation up. Listen. On trading my gun and register, I shot back in self defense. Y'all dumb. I shot back in self defense. You know what I'm saying? If I did something illegal, I would be in jail. The police would put me in the back of the car. Type of shit. Let's talk about Quando Rondo because Quando is famous for being involved with the death of King Von back in 2020. And he's had a target on his back ever since. And in August 2022, Quando almost got taken out when some goons caught him lacking in LA. Right now, the search is on for three people who police say shot at a Savannah rapper, killing a member of his entourage. It happened in Los Angeles and cameras captured the aftermath. Because Quando 
and his bros were at a gas station when three shooters pulled up on him and started letting off shots. Rumors quickly started going around that Quando had been shot and killed, but it turns out the shooters completely missed Quando. And unfortunately, Quando's homie, Lil Pab, got hit and died from the injuries. And hours later, a video was released of Quando screaming and crying while the cops pulled Pab's body out of the truck. But what makes the situation even- I ain't gonna, that was crazy. A, a lot of rappers clowned him. I don't even, I think there was a meme of Quando screaming. Like they even made a meme of him screaming, which is sad, bro. He just lost his homie and niggas on the net clowning him, bro. That's why I be saying this internet shit, bro. This shit really pussy, bro. This internet shit pussy. This, this internet shit ain't even real, bro. Niggas clowning. And worse me. is that another one of his bros was killed in Savannah a few days before this shooting. Spot him, got him, was also called lacking and is lucky to be alive today. Because in the early morning of September 17th, 2020, the rapper posted a video on his IG story showing himself at the House of Hits recording studio in Miami. And House of Hits is a popular studio in Miami, so it wouldn't be too hard for anyone who knew the area to know his location. So not long after, Spot him, got him, left the studio. A car pulled up on the side of his car and fired 22 shots at him. Spot him, got him, and another dude in the back seat got hit, and no one knew if he was alive. His attorney later confirmed that it was true that he had been shot but was still alive. She also made clear that it wasn't a shootout, it was just a drive by, and Spot him was the victim. And the internet quickly found out that the car Spot him got. Wait, hold on. A ain't Spot him a rat? Ain't Spot him a rat? That man ratted on his homeboys. That man ratted on, on Mookie. Spottom is a rat. Isn't Spottom a rat? Wasn't there paperwork saying that Spottom is a rat? Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm I'm pretty sure Spottom is a rat. That man Spottom is a whole rat. So it, it don't even matter what was driving in was stolen. Spottom said he had nothing to do with stealing the car, but was just driving in it. And after the shooting, a YouTuber made a video saying that he owned the car and that it was stolen from him. Nah, yeah, it was white. It was stolen in Atlanta. Sheesh. 22. 22 bullet holes. Yeah. Sheesh. I need a... But Spot Em Got Em isn't the only rapper that had something to do with the stolen car and ended up getting shot at. Because Lil Reese was also in a similar situation. But first, let's talk about the time he was called lacking back in 2019. One day a rapper named Skeezy posted a video of Lil Reese getting beat up by five guys in the street. And what made things worse from the video is that fans claim that Lil Reese boo-booed on himself. Oh yeah, I, I remember that video. He shitted on himself. Uh, that's a sad way to go out, man. That man boo-boo himself, bruh. That man can't control his fucking... That man boo-booed on himself, straight boo-booed on himself. After getting beat up. And Lil Reese ended up speaking on the situation a few months later, saying he got jumped by five people and still fall back. He also posted a video of him But if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I I also have another I also have another channel. I I, I also have a gaming channel. I'm gonna put the link down in the description. Subscribe to my gaming channel. Follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description. Kenny reacts. I'm out.